Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Discord website series. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to host your Discord website and your bot um, using Heroku so that uh, it's viewable by the public. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, now head on to ready.js uh, or your uh, ready event and then in the port section, let me just show you. Okay. You should see port cons port uh, 3000 or 3001 change this to process uh, env dot port with caps. So make sure it's process dot env dot port. Okay, and yeah. So I'm just gonna teach you guys um, some basic uh, git command git command line methods. So let me just create a new rep repo real quick uh just if you don't have a github account make sure to have one uh make sure to create one so um if you are you already set up never mind let's just let's just uh, let me just show you how to create a github repo make sure it's private and then i'm just gonna name this uh youtube tutorials but okay you can name this anything you want because it's uh user scoped and then description, let me just leave it. Just create a repo a rep re, repository. Okay, repository. Okay, so it's already it uh, already gives you um, the commands on how to connect this uh, your your files initially to this um, to this repository. Okay, so um, you need to download this. I'm just gonna link this down in the description. Just click on your uh, OS and then just download it. Okay, it's act. It acts like a command line, so um, it's very easy to interact with GitHub with this. Okay, so um, since you have files already, just open your VS Code terminal. Okay, and then we're just gonna copy this. Git, uh, git, uh, we're gonna add git add dot. Basically, adding all the files. Um, you don't have a git ignore already. Just create, uh, just create a file called dot git ignore, and then add uh, node modules in it. You can just do this. Just add node modules. Make sure node modules isn't uh, pushed to GitHub because it takes a lot of space. Okay, perfect. And then git add, and then git commit. Wait, actually, we need to git in it first. Git in it. Okay, and then um, git add dot git commit dash m message or will be initial commit. Okay, and then um, git branch main. You can just copy this, git remote, at origin. I think we need to Okay, let me just start this because I already have a origin remote, so let me just remove that git or uh, remote remove origin okay so let's start it again git init and then um, git commit first commit and then um, git branch main git remote okay and then um, git push to origin main just copy the command lines and it should uh, show you something like this. Okay, if you face any errors, feel free to join the support server. Links will be in the description. Uh, just refresh the page and you should see your files over here. So, uh, as you get, if you haven't noticed already, I haven't created a proceed file to interact with uh, Heroku's resources. So, yeah, let's create the file and I'll show you how to add the file. Okay, so, um, as you can see here, uh, we can do. We just gonna create a file called proceed file. Okay, if you already have set up uh, your hosting service, just change worker to web. Just do web and then your main file. So normally it's worker, but now for this, um, because you want to use the website, we're just gonna use web. Okay, just save the file. Web node in desktop.js. So um, if you save it now. And you refresh it in GitHub, okay? You wouldn't see the files in GitHub because it's not committed yet. So how you want to commit it? Uh, just go to your terminal, okay? Git add dot, 
and then you get comment um, and then this is an optional message I mean you can make uh, you can write anything you want I'm just gonna write a uh, committing proceed file okay make sure the proceed file is also caps so yeah uh, and then git uh, push origin and then um, let's just wait for it to push and then if I go here and I refresh it uh, as you can see here there's proceed file and then web node index.js so this is how you want to use git so every time if you created a new command or a new something just do git add git commit and then git push origin and then you'll be good to go okay so now let's connect our app with Heroku so if you don't have a Heroku uh, account already just create one just select node JS and just create one. It's free. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. So um, yeah. So um, if you just created it, you wouldn't see any apps. Uh, I already have my own app, so uh, it displays over here. If you don't have already, just create a new app. Okay, and then just give it a good name. Let me just call this YouTube Tutorials. Okay and then just click on create app okay and then you straight away uh, come to this deploy tab if you haven't just click on deploy uh, click connect to github okay if you haven't logged into your github make sure to log into your github and then uh, we're gonna find for the repo name youtube why have i named my okay, youtube tutorial spot as you can see here, you can use the tutorial spot, uh, it's the same one. So I'm just going to click on connect. Okay, once you've done that, uh, go to settings. Okay, and then scroll down until you see, uh, where is it? Add build pack, build packs. We're going gonna, we're gonna to need Node.js. And we're also going to need a FFM pack if you have music. If you don't have uh, any music commands or anything. Uh, you don't need this actually, but I'm just gonna add it just for uh, just to just to try out add it. Just copy the uh, git and then just save changes. Okay, and then we hit, we we will now wait for it to build. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, where is it? Okay. Um, once you have connected, just click on add enable automatic deploys okay so what this does is every time you make uh, this commit this git push origin and when Heroku Heroku has an uh, integration with your git github rep uh, repository so every time uh, it gets notified uh, it will automatically restart the app which is really good so I would suggest click on this and then um, we're just going to deploy branch so this is gonna take for like uh, one to two minutes, depend depending on your file size. So let's go to overview, and then okay. So this is the uh, overview on the build status. So I will cut the video out right now, and I will skip it until when it's done. Okay. So uh, as you can see here, it says that um, it's done and released, and then uh, deployed to Heroku. So um, this is the logs that uh, has been done. So perfect. Um, all you need to do is go to resources, and then if you refresh it, you should see a option, uh, web and then node index.js or your main file. As you can see, it is automatically turned on. And if we go to logs, as you can see here, YouTube tutorials has logged on. So let me just close this. We don't actually need this anymore. Just close this and then if I go back to my server as you can see here the bot is actually online so um, this hosting service is from Heroku um, it's so um, now uh, I'm gonna teach you how to access your website simply just click on open app or just go to uh, your apps name and then dot Heroku dot app dot uh, Heroku app dot com and then you should be able to see your website so yeah this is the website that uh, we have made on the past few episodes 
Um, just to prove it uh, that it's actually working, let me just run some commands to show you why help, why ping. Okay, actually, pretty good ping. Okay, just ignore this because, um, just ignore that because of the previous video, that's why it's translated to French. Okay. So um, just keep in mind that um, this here hosting services only lasts for 500 hours. So um, once uh, the, qu the quota has finished, it will tell you in the log section. And just just follow the steps and create just create a new Heroku account, connect the repository, add the build packs, and then you should be good to go. All right. So um, that should conclude today's video on how to host your bot and your website on Heroku. Um, if you add, make uh, one more thing, if you add a credit card, it will give you uh, 1000 hours and it won't charge your credit card. So if you add a credit card and then you don't need to bother to change your account anymore. Okay, so it's mon if you don't have a card monthly, you will get 500 hours and then if you have a card monthly, you get 1000 hours. Okay. So if you, if you need help, make sure you join support server or you just want to give a suggestion uh, to the next video. Okay. Um, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if this video hits 50 likes, I'll show you guys how to uh, get a custom domain and use it on uh, here instead of using Kiroku.app because it looks uh, kind of long, you know. Okay. Um, if this hits, if this video hits 50 likes, okay, um, leave a comment, uh, just to help the YouTube algorithm, and then uh, make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I uh, really put a lot of effort in all my videos. Um, so yeah, subscribing really helps me out. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, have a nice day. See you again on the next video. Bye.